together with design projects and actually executing them with, with architects. What is your key observation in terms of inclusiveness, price points, and where we are when it comes to redefining demands? Because aspiration is an own conversation. But now we're looking at a world where highly interconnected, there's a lot of knowledge that's out there in terms of recreation, recreating excellence as well. What is changing right now in India? I think we're at a very um, interesting and confusing time. I agree with him completely that in, for scalability and to survive and to evolve, you've got to be inclusive. I've always believed in a sense of inclusion rather than being exclusive, even though I've been labeled as luxury. I've hated the term and I have in fact tried to resist it for 30 years. And over that period of time, not only me, but something called a 2PHK has become luxury. So I certainly don't want to be associated with luxury. Yes, I agree that, um, that luxury is a state of mind, it's a perception. And I think for different businesses, it has to be defined differently. We might have many different personal perceptions of luxury, but for your business, for a business which has to scale, which has to reach certain numbers, and for other businesses, which I would say like our business, is more of an atelier business. 